Hey, welcome to the Unforgettable Experiences Live Show. I'm Phil Mershon. I am the founder and CEO of Unforgettable Experiences. Today, I want to talk to you about one of the mistakes I see at events all the time. There's a difference between art and science. In the science of events, it means you've got all the logistics figured out. You've got your detailed checklist. Um, you know how things work. You've got the temperature dialed in. You've got the right quantities of food. You've got seats spaced apart the correct amount. You've got your logistics of registration figured out. You've got all the technology. Science teaches you to do those things, to do them with excellence. But there's something missing if that's all you do. If the only thing you do is make sure all the things on the checklist are done, you're missing something significant. And that is the passion. That is the ethos, the pathos of an event. The art comes from doing those things right, which you have to do, but doing it with heart and soul, doing it from a human perspective, doing it to impact people. To demonstrate how that works, I want to do something with music. So right here, uh, you should be able to see it. I've got music for the song, Amazing Grace. And I'm going to show you what it's like to play it technically correct, scientifically, and then I'm going to demonstrate what it's like to do it with art and soul. Now, that was correct. I didn't play any wrong notes. I played all the notes the right length. Um, I even played with a little bit of vibrato in there. But there's something missing. It didn't totally feel like music. It felt like I was reading the music, reading the notes, but I didn't put my soul into it. So let me show you what it's like if it put my soul into it. And this is what it's like when we do our events scientifically and with art. The difference requires years of experience. The difference requires when you're putting on an event that you've got people on your team who know how to do the artistic side of events. The difference is you know when it's the checklist that needs to be done and what belongs on the checklist and how to do things with heart and soul. How do you put those things together in a way that people will see and feel the difference? You could also use the example of baking. So it's very possible to teach a 12-year-old how to bake a loaf of bread, and they can follow the recipe, and they can do it all correctly, and the bread will be edible. But when you have the experience of been doing it for hundreds or thousands of hours, let's say the 10,000 proverbial hours it requires to become an expert, now, all of a sudden, you can do it scientifically correct. You know all the things you need to do, given the ingredients you're working with, given the oven that you're working with, given the environment that you're in, the altitude you're at. All those things require scientific knowledge. But the art comes because you've done it a bunch of times before. You've made the mistakes. You know what it's like to cause this to become something that people are going to love. And you're doing it for specific people. Now, if I had been playing that song for an audience where people were in the audience and I saw their reaction, then I would actually be able to create a musical experience for everyone in the room. 
Just like if you're baking a loaf of bread and you know the people in the room, let's say someone's got a gluten allergy, you've changed the ingredients. You know somebody in the room absolutely loves it when you've got raisins in that loaf of bread. You add the raisins. Someone's allergic to raisins. You don't put them in. All those kinds of things go into it. The same is true for our events. We need people on our team who understand the science, all the logistics, all the details, and the art the human connection, all those factors that go into it. Those are things that will cause your event to be set apart from all of the others. The first, if you just do the checklist, the event will be done right. There may be very few mistakes, but it might be missing something in the energy. It might be missing something in that human connection. So that's where you need the people on the team who are thinking about that, that are paying attention to that, that lead first with their hearts, that are relationally based in the way they do things. And if you have a team that has both, then you're set up for incredible, if I might say so, unforgettable success. I'm Phil Mershon, founder of Unforgettable Experiences. I would love to hear what you think. Have a great day.